hello guys uh, welcome back uh, for this uh, new session so today we are going to discuss uh, the interior fit out uh, estimation technique for one of the elements so we know very well uh, there is a lot of uh, the headings are uh, involved in this interior fit out so in our courses also we discussed uh, many topics so here we are going to discuss one of the uh, accessories and the furniture related uh, one of the item so this is our uh, the trimming that we use in our courses also so you can see this is the uh, proposed uh, the furniture layout trimming so there is a loose furniture we have to calculate these things so now we are going to discuss uh, the loose furniture estimation techniques okay so you can see here there is a lot of uh, legends are available here the the loose furniture related legend so you can see uh, ch1 mean dining chair type number one uh, and dining chair type number two for the ch2 like this so in this drawing also they uh, the clearly mention uh, based on this uh, notation okay so there's a lot of uh, loose furnitures are available so now i am going to just uh, uh, show you for this item the ch number 2 ch number 2 mean uh, that is uh, you can see here the dining chair type number 2 okay so let's uh, discuss these things so this is our specification for this loose furniture so the code number ch2 mean this is dining chair number 2 so the appearance of this uh, chair is it's look like this all right so as a cost commercial uh, professional for this uh, interior fit out so what is the technique for the estimate the price of this uh, this type uh, chairs so that's a question so you can see here uh, this is uh, our chair okay this is our chair so we have three option for estimate this uh, types of chair so we will discuss uh, these things uh, one by one here so the option number one uh, just imagine you are the fit out contractor so you have uh, your own factory to build uh, this type of the chair so if you are built by yourself uh, by your company self you have to know this information to uh, produce the rate of this chair so you should know the total material cost of this chair and also total labor cost of this chair and also if you are using any other plants and machinery so you, so you have to consider this thing uh, plant and machinery uh, total cost of uh, this chair and the finally you have to know the elements uh, what are the elements you have to put uh, and also the overhead and contingencies and profit so you have to put these all things together uh, for the rate build up purpose okay so this is the option number 1 to build up the rate for the chair the option number 2 is uh, you have to send the quotation to the chair suppliers or vendors okay so you have to send this uh, uh, the, the chair the pictures and drawings and the specification to the many uh, chair supplier vendors so you will receive uh, their quotation or their prices so you can find out the very cheapest price and you have to add your uh, profit margin and you have to build up your own rate so this is the option number 2 then uh, there's a other another option is uh, the option number 3 is uh, you can use some thumb rules so this is for some urgent purpose for example uh, you receive the tender documentation for 2 uh, days ago and you have to do deadline for tomorrow something like this so this is a very urgent uh, the situation so in this situation we cannot uh, produce some other rates uh, very quickly so that's why we have to use some thumb rules so these thumb rules we can get from our previous uh, project records or information other or other previous uh, uh, project uh, some boq rate and other things so based on these things based on our previous information we have to uh, build up our rate based on this thumb rule 